So for this girl's office party cake, my idea is that it's gonna look like a pile of presents, and each present is gonna look different. On the bottom tier, I take a textured rolling pin and I emboss fondant and make like a strip, and then I paint it in gold. This one here, we could do those little mistletoe things. The holly. The holly. The other tier we're gonna do, I'm gonna airbrush it in the blue pearl and then we'll do some snowflakes and maybe some crystal sugar on it. I add crystal sugar and throw it on there for some texture. Then I add some snowflakes. I mean, it just looks blingy, icy. You know, I love that tier. And I have a quilting tool. The next tier, I do the quilt pattern, then I airbrush the whole cake in red shimmer airbrush. Looked totally awesome. V, these girls want lots of bling, so we better put a lot on. Mm-hmm, gotta be sparkly. I wanna get all my girls involved because it's a girly cake, and I want it to be very girly. So I got Violet putting some rhinestones and pearl accents on the quilted tear. I signed Christine to make a shopping bag and a little clutch purse. I tell Renee to make some jewels and some jewelry and some makeup. And then I tell Tony to do his shoe. So this office party cake is really coming together. But there's still one thing I gotta figure out. And that's if I'm gonna let Stretch and Anthony go on the delivery. What if you were to take them on this delivery? But being that you know they're, they're attractive girls, maybe you can uh, up the ante a little. Why can't we have a laugh about it? Maybe dress them up like reindeer. Put like the little antlers on them. Oh, we'll dress them up as elves. Oh, as little elves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my. See, I think with the little curly shoes. <laughs> be careful what you wish for, cuz I like that. See, be careful what you wish for, cuz you just might get it. Now that this girl's office party cake is all stacked, I gotta put the details on it. I stick a couple poinsettias in, and then I stick a couple Christmas balls, and then I stick a little holly, and then I start putting presents. And you're gonna have Tony's shoe, don't forget. It has feminine touches, it has jewelry, it has makeup. It looks great. Oh, very nice. It looks really nice. It's got a lot of girly girl things like on it. Hey, here's my two delivery guy. Hello. <laughs> so, Hi, guys. So what do you think of the cake, guys? I think it looks good. I think they're gonna like it. You know, I've been thinking about letting you guys go, and, um, you know, we kind of talked about stipulations. There's one condition. I'm like, yeah, you are going on this delivery. But there's just one thing, and they don't know what's coming. What? Elves. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Your buddy's happy elves, and you're going to go deliver this cake. Here's the deal. Oh, you've been telling me you want to go on this delivery? Do it. Come on, tough guys. <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's great. Cute. All right, come on, dance. I want to see the dance. Come on, let me see his dance. Happy elves. Happy elves. You never know. Some chicks dig elves. <laughs> Get that. Go across. It's my. It's my. This isn't the place. Go across the street, maybe. Okay. Is this it? I don't know. Is this it? I think it is. I hope it is. Let's go in. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Just like we wanted! We ordered wine scene! Look at the makeup! Oh and like my god. The gift oh. bag! We always want to get that. There's a lipstick over here. <laughs> wow. We really, really love it. And it has all the details yeah. that we wanted. It has the rhinestones, the jewelry. It has the gift bags that we wanted. Yeah. It's very, 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 very girly. Are you guys wondering about the outfits yeah. or whatever? Yeah. Like, we were like, yo, buddy, you have to let us go on the delivery. And he was like, I was like, oh, yeah. He pulls out these outfits, and we're like, no way. 
No way in hell we're wearing these outfits. Why do you guys do this? And we did it. There you go. To see you guys. Thank you. So uh, we came all the way here. Did we get your numbers? Oh, yeah. oh man. Me and Stretch. I guess you could say this was a bonding experience. It was uh, equally as mentally scarring for both of us. The cake itself was a 10. You can't really beat it. But when the delivery guys walked in the door in their elf costumes, it really it bumped it up to a 12. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Gingerbread. Nice. <laughs> I listen, I'm here to talk business. Uh <laughs> Every year we do the party. I got the list of kids, and it's time that we talk about what you're going to do and what I'm going to do. <laughs> Every year we throw a big Christmas party at the bakery for kids from our local church. I get the list from Father P. He, he's our family priest, and it's kind of like Santa's nice list, but it's more for kids who need it. My wife and kids go shopping for these kids and we have a Christmas party. We want to create an awesome Christmas for them. That's awesome. The kids are usually around my kids' ages, so I split the list up and I just let them go shop. It's important teaching your kids that it's in giving that we receive that they are very lucky and that there's a lot of people in this world that need help. My parents instilled those values in me, so it's important for me and my wife to instill them in our children. It's a great tradition. Which brings me to, I'm going to take the kids shopping. What can you do? What do you bring into the party? OK, <laughs> what do I always do? OK. I'm doing what I do best. I'm making cake. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you. Love you, too. So what I'm thinking is we go up on them, and then the next tier bumps up, in, Oh, you're like real, real stylized, real. Real stylized. I thought a Christmas tree would really fit in. Everybody's getting presents, so why not a Christmas tree? We could cover it in green fondant and just add lights and Christmas decorations. What are you doing for filling? Um, Peppermint? Pine. Peppermint. Fill with pine needles, Joe. Pine needles. We did a peppermint candy cane filling because it's a Christmas tree. Hit him with a roll. Got to be smarter than a candy cane. To fill up this six-tier cake, Joey and Herman, you're going to need a lot of candy canes. You just do a chocolate buttercream with peppermint. Chocolate and mint go really well together. Man, it's strong. Woo. Six inch, right, Danny B? Six inch right. square. You see me cutting square? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Jesus Christ. When the kids see this Christmas tree cake, I want them to be blown away. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. That's beautiful. And I got Liz making all the little decorations and ornaments to decorate the tree with. Do you like the color or do you want the blinking? No, I like it like that. Don't blink yeah. it. The key to a real Christmas tree? Ah! Oh. Let's decorate the front first. <laughs> this is the cutest thing that's ever happened. Ralph's making an angel tree topper, and it's looking great. You like the ears? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Angel's done. The little hands here going. Oh. And I got Liz finishing up some Christmas presents made out of some small cakes. Because what is a Christmas tree without presents from Santa? That one's from Mauro, it's a wig. <laughs> this one's for Joey, it's a fire truck. This one's for Mary, it's cold. It's what she deserves. All right, guys, what do you think? This looks good. You know what this looks like? The trees in the Rudolph special. Yeah, it does. Even the angel on top, Ralph, it's just like very whimsical. For the kids, I think they're gonna love it. Danny, what do you think? Danny don't like Christmas, <laughs> look at him. <laughs> A little, little bit of a Grinch. Between the presents and the gingerbread men, all the different ornaments, this cake looked amazing. I can't wait to see the kids' reactions when they see what we got coming for them. Look, the most important thing is that we're helping kids that really deserve it. That's the true meaning of Christmas. So we're 
make dozens of different kinds of Christmas cakes for our customers. We usually make 350 small layer cakes per week. Not this week, it's like 800. People really love our Christmas cakes, but this time of year, it's all about the cookies. We make about 15,000 cookies. There's cookies like everywhere. Make the holes on those. It's crazy the amount of ingredients we use Christmas week. We get about four times the amount of flour and sugar delivered to the bakery every day. Holy mackerel, that's a lot of sweet. What's the, the what is for today? The bigger trays are on order today. All right, so how many do we need, Mary? 50? One of our biggest Christmas traditions at Carlos Bakery is our delicious cookie trays. We make all kinds of cookies. Ice box, Carlos, figs, long jelly, round jellies, hazelnut, and we pile them up on a tray. I mean, now that's Christmas. This is all These good. you're going to use the chocolate yeah, for, so not we gotta yet. Get, them in there Where's for the now. round ones with the nuts or the that's round the ones? That's the one we don't that's have. That's the one we don't have. Did you check in the back? No, Everywhere. they said there is none. He said to substitute it for another cookie. Use substitute? What cookie. am I going to substitute with? All right, well, I, we have to straighten Be nice. Them. Mary. Um, I, I have a problem. Uh, what, really? Where are the Carlos cookies, the round ones with the nuts or the sprinkles? Yeah, okay, you got to look. I got to look. There's no. none. They're telling me that there's none. There so might not be. I need, I have to make trays. How am I going to make trays? Afternoon. So what am I supposed to do until then? Look pretty in the store. All we're doing is making cookies. They got to stop bothering us. We need to work. I go by my list every year of how much so, we make. Yeah, this year but we I know how, what I have to do. How come you don't know what you have to do? I know what I have to Make the cookies. All right, well, I want to mix the cookies, get that ready, and then we'll go from there. We're already behind on our cookies. I mean, we got to pick up the pace. One of our most popular cookies are our Carlos cookies. They're little shortbread cookies with nuts sprinkled on top. I'm going to make 14 batches of these cookies. Each gets two dozen eggs, 14 pounds of shortening, some vanilla flavoring, 13 pounds of sugar, 18 pounds of each flour. That's our mix. And we got our machine. So basically you put the dough in, the dough goes down the, the hopper, and we have a wire, and it just boom, boom, boom. And the dough comes and it cuts these perfect cookies. Okay, this machine runs like a maniac during the holidays. How come you got the machine cooking? I can't get no pants out of here. Put it straight. Okay. I put the trays down, and Danny picks them up on the other side. I mean, we're doing like 20 trays a minute. That's a lot of cookies. They don't build them like this no more, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Uh huh? Danny start pumping out cookies, cookies, cookies. And all of a sudden, my string breaks. It's gotta always be something. This cookie machine is the only way we can keep up with the Christmas rush. And you got so many cookies to do and the string had to break. What are you doing over there? He broke it. Well, fix it. Let's go. There's more I'm string. Fixing Let's it. go. So you know what? I gotta take matters into my own hands. I fix this machine myself. I'm gonna take the wire out, thread it, make sure it's nice and strong, and put this machine back to work. Come on, baby, don't break it. Finally, we get this machine working. Me and Danny test it. Yes, it didn't break. And booyaka, we start cutting these cookies like it's nobody's business. And I mean, I'm shooting these trays through this machine so fast, Danny can't even keep up with me. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. It fell. It fell. I'm sorry. So what can we do for you today? We need a cake for a Christmas party. Every year, a bunch of our high school friends get together. Lots of food, lots of fun. How long have you guys all been friends? Kindergarten and first grade, some of us, some of us since high school, and we've been doing the parties almost 10 years, I think. Getting old, 10 years. <laughs> uh -huh. 
it's easy to make friends, but it's kind of hard to stay in touch with them. So it's nice. I like that these girls get together around the holidays. So it's, it, I think this is going to be a great, great event. This year, we're doing ugly sweaters, well, something that's different. Not, that's not, I was going to say, that's not that ugly. It's not that ugly. <laughs> no. Ann and Chrissy give a little twisty shift for the holidays. They want to do an ugly sweater party. After 27 years here, this is the first that somebody wants me to deliver an ugly sweater cake. Would we do a character or something like that? Yeah, right? yeah, like maybe like an elf or I don't know, like a snowman, something. That can wear an ugly sweater. Yeah. yeah. We'll do a really nice cake for you this year, right? Thank All right. You. Thank, Thank you for so coming, much. girls. Thank you so All much. Right. I kind of like a reindeer. Yeah. So what if we do like a like an old partied out reindeer? In like a big ugly Christmas sweater, like he's like he's like he's had enough yeah, for the like season. He's, yeah, 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 like yeah, he's yeah. Done. Like, yeah. Like the reindeer from the end of the party. So we'll do like uh, like his tongue hanging out of his mouth. It could be laying on the ground. And then we can decorate the sweater. We'll do some candy canes. We'll do some Christmas balls, lights. The uglier, the better. Uh, this is Randolph, the red-nosed white-tailed deer. So Ralph's going to make the head, and I'm going to stack the cake for the body. And it's going to be uh, chocolate Swiss and black and white cake. Hey, you got any, any ugly Christmas sweaters, Joe? That doesn't no. really seem like your no. thing. No, but my grandmother used to buy me a sweater every year, which was pretty ugly. Yeah. It's pretty cool, Ralph. I'm going to send Santa Claus a message. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Rubbing me some... Uh, Reindeer belly. I see that. So let's let's pop that up on here. What is a mouse? What is it? It's a reindeer. Where do you ever see a deer with a sweater? The North, the North Pole. All, all the time. I see them all the time. What? So we'll use red for the sweater because it'll play off the green on the board, and Danny will finally get to see a reindeer in a sweater. How do I look? Fits. I don't know why they call it an ugly sweater for. Dude, right, huh? I actually don't even think it's that ugly. Come on, it's not that bad. It's are bad. you kidding? That's shocking bad. <laughs> the fake suspenders, it just... <laughs> the fake suspenders are... It does have the built-in suspenders, not that it's holding anything. I guess it's holding up the little Christmas tree thing here, but... I love it. See? Yeah, that's that's James Christmas. That every day. She's got possessed. <laughs> She's got style. I want him sweater to be like my sweater. All right. Wow, that's some sweater. Yeah, just keep going. Decorate it up. Do the sleeves too. All the little the little bits are really bringing it together. Throw some small like cookie crumb bits in his mouth too, like just a little bit. <laughs> you like it? That's one ugly shirt, man. <laughs> You're not in the Christmas spirit, Danny. I got you one. Oh boy. <laughs> oh wow. Let me see. It fits. If I can wear an ugly sweater and get into the holiday spirit. These guys got to get into the holiday spirit, too. There you go. Now nah, you're complete. Ooh, bacala. You look like Christmas. I have one, too. <laughs> Why do you have sloths? Sloths. That it says Christmas like a sloth. Here, Big Mouth. I think maybe we started a little trend here, you know? Maybe we need to have our own little ugly sweater day here at the Carlos Bakery. Oh, boy, it must have been some party. Reindeer is done. Cake looks nice. It is There's nice. Lights. But... It says Christmas. It says like how he passed out from eating too many Carlos Bakery cookies, and that's what we wanted. He was hungry. And if you're gonna pass out, that's the best way to pass out: eating cookies. It's Christmas. It's cookie season. I think they're really gonna get a kick I out of this. I think so. And it's cool. I think everybody should have to wear an ugly sweater at least one time. <laughs> <laughs>